know the story of Robin Hood, a bowsman who steals from the rich and gives to the poor. Now imagine if he was mediocre with his bow and didn't give to the poor. Nah, <laughs> I'm, I'm right here. That was my state with the tri stringer but I wanted to be better than that, and I'm not talking as a person. So I gave myself a single day to reach the prestigious rank of S plus zero to secure my status as a god amongst men. This is a recount of those 24 hours. But we don't even have ranked unlocked. We have to start with Perform. It may sound crazy, but our immediate goal was to reach level 10 to just unlock Anarchy Battle in the first place. If we're doing this, we're doing it from unranked. That is, that is just like, I, I have 24 hours of this shit ahead of me. Can you believe that? How truly bad could just six levels be? Yeah, after an hour of Turf War games, I had only gained one and a half levels, with still four and a half levels to go. At the rate I was going, it would take another three hours just to unlock the ability to play Anarchy at all. So I needed a magical MacGuffin to speed up the process. In Splatoon 3, the only way to gain levels faster is to use one of the XP food tickets of the cafeteria. So the solution was simple, until I realized that the only way of obtaining them are either through Salmon Run, the single player campaign, or the cause of all my personal problems, the gotcha machine. I instantly ruled out Salmon Run and Alterna, because between the act of doing the research and going out to find the tickets, it would probably be faster just to do turf war. So that left me with the gotcha machine, which not counting the first play of the day costs 30k per play. In my first hour of turf war, I barely had above half of that, all for a single 11.5% chance to obtain any kind of XP ticket in general. It was not looking good for my sanity. <laughs> get it from catalog. Wait, does catalog give them to you? Catalog could be clutch. Oh, you get a food ticket at level three. Oh, well, we're, we're like, oh, never mind. Yeah, we're, we're gonna keep playing. We got it, we got it. You wanna try? Dude, that would've been so sick. I'm so sad I missed that. I tried though. You can't say I didn't try. There we go, XP ticket. Oh, we are eating good, we are eating good. Inheriting the power of two times battle XP, even by just a bit, this should make our journey to level 10 a bit less of a burden. Okay, now we just gotta win our games. Stop, stop. We also have a DC, by the way. Does this waste my XP ticket? I hope not. Counted for my XP ticket, goddammit. With the fourth of the ticket gone, I was slowly realizing I was in fact the problem. As Tri Stringer, let's just say, isn't the greatest choice in the world for Turf War. So to make up for my lack of skill, we went on a secondary adventure to the far off lands of the clothing store. I had to figure out a good build for my Tri Stringer. We're only gonna be focusing on main abilities because subs are a little too specific. But since the shops only rotate once per day, whatever abilities are here are the ones I'm stuck with. But what do you guys think we should go with? <laughs> not, not Ninja Squid Tri Stringer, no. And with the aid of Chad as a mediator, I ended up with last ditch effort thermal ink and run speed for increased strafing with my xp ticket i ended up going 7 and 13 so yeah pretty bad but the important detail is that we're now one level away from being able to uh you know start the challenge i'm gonna level with you though hour three was one of the hardest parts of the entire 24 hours it was just loss after loss after loss i was getting xp slower than me doing addition just to give up and use a calculator it was painful and arduous but worse than that it was boring Get to 10. Please get to 10. Get me out of this turf war hell. Just level up, just level up to 10. Let me see that two digit number, the digits that add to one that isn't number one. Please. You're a bitch. You're a bitch bastard. We've been at this for four hours. Let's keep pushing. Whether we win or lose, we get it this time. In the heart of the XP, the gods of Splatoon, whatever higher power. Give me level 10. BAM! And just like that, after four hours of constant turf warring, I could attempt Anarchy Battle. Though we have an insane journey ahead, all I felt was relief. Relief that I did not have to play another goddamn game of turf war for at least another 20 hours. Though in saying that, we are now at the mercy of the Splatoon gods and what they decide to give us for maps and ranked modes. As the Tri Stringer is definitely better on some map modes than others. The first Anarchy rotation was on Splat Zones, Wahoo World, and Flounder Heights. I was unsure at how tough this would be since C Plus could be full of Smurfs. Oh, but never mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll have a problem. Yeah, I, I... This might be a problem. So losing the first match at C- minus didn't invoke the most confidence. But after ingesting a way too expensive food delivery burger, the map mode shifted to Rainmaker on Mahi Mahi Resort and Inkblot Art Academy. This was great, because not only do both these maps have good positioning for Tri-Stringer... No! Push! Yes! <laughs> as long as my teammates can push the Rainmaker, I can kill everyone else. I should not have that KA with the Tri-Stringer! But also, I don't technically have to use the main weapon at all, as I'm inherently better at the Rainmaker. And especially in C- minus where you don't have the best of players, it makes killing with the Rainmaker pretty damn easy. By the end of that series, I ended up going 5-2 and two and making my way to C-Rap. 
With this insane rotation, things were looking up. All I had to do was slaughter everyone whilst my three teammates could manage to push the objective. It wasn't a great long-term strategy, but for getting out of the C ranks, it worked exceptionally well. And to further push my point, my second series ended in 5-2 again achieving C plus rank. Enough points have been gathered to attempt the rank up map, a series where I have to win a best 3 out of 5 games to determine whether or not I move to the next rank up. The map modes have swapped again, so unfortunately I have to do the rank up series with no practice on the new maps. But as a saving grace, the mode is tower control, which is arguably Tristringer's best mode, as you can generally keep people off the tower with the exploding projectile. Museum isn't too bad because we have a good perch overlooking the center. Conversely, Undertow doesn't have a great perch, so I opt not to use it. But that doesn't necessarily mean Undertow is bad here. Because the mode is tower control, everybody is located around the tower tower and the tower's path as a general thumb. And because of my range, I can aim my shots in places that force the enemies to move away from the objective. With that in mind, commence the rank up battle. Oh, we're going for this. Oh my god. Dude, this junior is invincible. I just can't kill them. Oh my god. Dude, this junior is insane. Dude, it's me versus the junior, I swear to god. There's, there's no other match here. I finally won against the junior. And we won the game. Damn team, just go. Slay team, slay. I didn't have to do anything. Would you like to have some fun with me? We're out of ink! Go my friend! I'm mad. <laughs> Why did I chase? Sweet. Good job, killer whales. I'll take a KO. Hell yeah. There we go. B minus. One step closer to S plus. Now that we've ranked up, our opponents have as well. Each rank we gain, the harder it is to rank up again, and the longer it'll take as entering a series costs rank points. The cost increases with ranked gained, and that means a net loss after a series gets more and more likely. This usually isn't a problem, as that's normally just a skill issue, but here we only have 24 hours. Every series that is a net negative or just barely positive is essentially wasted time. So if that's the case, then all I have to do is keep winning consecutively. I, I mean, I mean, it's just that easy. <laughs> Insane shot. Oh, that was luck. I didn't know they were there. <laughs> Immediately dead. Sick. I'm, I'm amazing. I'm the best flash alive. No! Don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm going. I'm insane. Oh, damn team. Okay. Dude, I've had eight hours to get warmed up. That's awesome. Oh, not enough. Are you serious? We just keep going. I'm going for checkpoint. I'm going for checkpoint. I got fast checkpoint. I hear somebody. Well, sorry, next. Oh, what an insane flick. The wind condition here is whale. Oh. There we go. Come on. At this point, we were extremely close to B plus with no issue, but using my god powers of foresight, the next rotation after this is really, really bad. Clamplets, mincemeat, brine water. <laughs> the pressure bubble was starting to inflate. This next rotation wouldn't be a problem, but it was a little heavy on the shoulders knowing the ensuing hell that was coming my way in the very near future. So I have to make the most out of this rotation to try to squeeze out as many points as I can. With B plus reach and the threshold surpassed, rank of battle two is here. It takes my fee and we load into the game. It's do or die time. Oh, slam it. Wait, first game. Okay, let's get another one. <laughs> Dude, we get a chance. That's funny. One more. Okay, they're just killing. I just gotta pick up my maker. We're going. Oh my God, slam. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, who am I kidding? That wasn't Splatoon 3. That was a massacre. I'm not even going to pretend that was close. But coming out of the bloodshed for a second, I've reached A- minus just in time for one of the worst rotations I've seen in a long time. Clam Blitz on Mitsubishi Metalworks and Brinewater Springs. Clam Blitz is a mode that really depends on the map for Tristringer. It's good at supporting teammates from the back, but struggles in solo queue because of the aggression needed when I have to carry entire games by myself. Compared to Tower, where I can push the objective by standing on it, and Rainmaker, where I can be aggressive or clear a path, Clam Blitz is straight up more difficult to win. Now, Luckily, Mitsmeet is in the rotation, so it's not like being aggressive is going to help anyway, as this is stall the timer of the map. And that's pretty much what my experience was. It also happened on Brinewater 2 somehow, but overall that rotation surprised me, as it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was just a lot of stall, which led to longer matches than usual. Halfway through and we've reached A rank as the map mode switched to Zones, Eeltail Alley, and Museum Dalfonsina. I stomped through this rotation, quickly achieving A+. I was winning every single series that I'd entered so far, until I didn't. 
I mean, every high can't last forever, and for the first time in over 14 hours, I lost my first series going two and three. Now, this in itself isn't a big deal. Boo hoo, you lost one series, whatever, whatever, right? Sure, it's probably just some unlucky matches, but this was a sign that the competition was starting to catch up. The skill gap that has carried me this far is starting to narrow. Of course, I'm still a decent bit ahead of the gap, as the very next series I went five and one, so it hadn't closed just yet. We carried on until I reached the rank up battle. Our second to last rank up battle. A plus to S. Here we go. Stop T Tech away. There's a reason you have no friends, bro. Like, come on. Get up the tower! Yep, because of course, he got off tower. Excellent. Oh, that's first rank up game lost. Okay, let's actually win this one. Oh, there is a DC? Oh, okay, sick. Yeah, I was worried. I was gonna have two losses. Oh my god. Wait, somebody on our team DC? Yeah, yeah, I was, I was like, team looks good, I agree, I agree. If we lose this, I'll be more okay with it. Wall. Oh wait, three of them are dead? Yo, okay. Oh. I'm dodging around the Christmas tree like a happy holiday? Okay, that's one. One out of three. Both teams have 10 missiles, both teams have a charger. We'll see how this goes. I mean, hopefully we don't lose. Why? It's just like, it feels like the same thing over and over. Just can't fucking kill anyone, man. And that never fucking happens. I don't know, dude. Maybe I should have reset the team. I don't know. I don't know what, what I could have done. Yeah, it was not even close. Even with the extra chance from multiple disconnections, I still couldn't pull out the win. Unfortunately, when you lose a rank up battle, you have to do another series to gain the rank points necessary to attempt it again. Is what I would say normally. But somehow we gained so many rank points from the 5-0 series that I had enough to attempt it again right away. Okay, right on top of me is a little much. I've been to playing well. Um, yeah, that kind of, that kind of fell out the window. <laughs> Are you serious? The bomb dropped off the tower? I'm just trying my best. That's all I can do. Nice. Okay. We need to actually push the tower, but we're not killing them. No. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Now, it wasn't looking fantastic. Being 1-2 is scary because I have to win twice in a row. But in the middle of my rank up battle, the mode switched to Rainmaker on Inkblot Art Academy and Wahoo World. Rainmaker is arguably my best mode. There was a real chance I could pull this out as I didn't have enough rank points to attempt it for a third time. Uh, their comp is a lot more offensive. Maybe Rainmaker will go better than Tower Control. Maybe that's only Toxic Miss more. I'm not, I'm not throwing it enough. <laughs> dude, they're doing everything in their power to stop us from getting that checkpoint. Holy shit. God damn, dude. Cannot win a fucking rank up battle to save my life. What am I supposed to do about that? Like, <laughs> dude, overall splatter, three gold, like 19 and two. Like what, what else can I fucking do, man? Two chances and both ended in the exact same result. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. This was soul crushing. 17 hours in and six of those spent in the A ranks alone. With every loss, that was less time that I had to grind the rank afterwards to ultimately achieve S plus. But all I could do was just keep going. Press that series button once again and win every match I could. Five and two, I gained enough rank points for the run back. I believe, come on, let's go. Not Wahoo, not Wahoo. Good, good start, good start. Like two frames before he slammed the brain maker. <laughs> oh, they slammed the checkpoint, good. I just realized our team comp is bad. It's crazy, I've been playing out of my mind too. I'm playing really well, I'm sad. I mean, they're going for it. Nice, got him. Two down. Nice, oh my God, nice wipe. Wait, that's two. Oh, okay, okay, that's one, that's one, that's one. This is exactly how it happened last time, though. It was a loss, a win, and two losses. Uh, got him? No, don't got him? Uh, interesting, okay. He's just rolling away? Oh, that's two. Okay, that's two. I, I, I know they had a DC, but that's two. One more. We broke the streak, we broke the streak. Okay. Okay, what was that wombo combo? <laughs> Damn, our Rainmaker's just pushing. Go, go, go. Nice lead, yes! Oh, let's go. No way, he just did that so low. We're actually stalling for time. God oh, damn it, I'm dead. Ah, okay. We, we got one more. Okay, well, next one decides it. I had one game to clutch this out. If it wasn't now, then when would it ever happen? Not just getting to S, but accomplishing my goal. Give us good slayers, give us good slayers. Oh, that comp is a yikes. And their comp is really good. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I hope my teammates are god tier because the weapon comps say uh, they got the advantage. Never mind. <laughs> reroll, reroll. <laughs> that guy knew his job. He had a DC. He saw the comp and was like, I got you, bro. Uh, 52 dapples. Okay, decent. Oh, we got relatively the same comp. Literally, only difference is 52 versus uh, T Tech. Let's go, let's go. That's fine. Okay, we popped checkpoint, though. My teammates popped checkpoint after I died. 
Damn it. Ah, oh, I should have jumped off. I should have just sat up there. Now they're right next to the podium, and they're gonna probably get it. Yeah. Yeah, it's my fault I got Legion. I made a very heavy misplay. Go, go, go. Paint a path, paint a path. We're going, we're going, we're going. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. Team painted the path, and I saw, I saw the light. I'm like, I gunned it. 18 and a half hours into the stream. We are... S rank. <laughs> oh my god, five and a half hours to go. All I felt in that moment was relief. Like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. I was stressed, I was tired, I'd been playing 18 and a half hours straight of nothing but Splatoon 3. I had to go up one more rank, and that was it. The challenge would be complete. But that's only on paper. In reality, it looks like we're so close to S plus, but this is where the true hell begins. A hell that could fell a god. The entry fee for a single series is now 170 points, which essentially means that if I don't break even, the net game will be in the negatives. One final rank, five hours left, let's go. These next few rotations went horribly. Not just in terms of the lack of progress, but just how defeated I felt. And I can tell you, it was an Ouroboros in how the more defeated I felt, ultimately the worse I played, which fed back into my mental. I went down to as low as negative one in rank points. But I picked up a little near the end, finishing with a net loss of 103 points. If you think about it, if two people on the exact opposite sides of the earth drop a piece of bread, the earth is a sandwich. At least we were thinking of thought-provoking subjects. The final hour was here with Tristringer's best mode, Tower Control on Mitsubishi Metalworks and Mahi Mahi Resort. At this point, it was impossible for me to achieve my goal of S plus zero. Even if I went 5-0 on every series, KO'd every match in the first couple minutes, we just didn't have enough time on the clock. But that doesn't mean I wasn't going to give it my all to reach for the sky. Here we go. The final frontier, Tower Control, Tristringer's best mode. Perfect. Oh my god. I'm dead. Yo, we passed checkpoint three though. We got to 16. They're not hopping on tower, surprising. I guess they don't want to be on tower. There we go. That, what the hell? Oh, somebody DC'd on the opponent team. Okay, we're taking it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Push, push, push. Come on. Oh, I don't know what just happened there, but like that, it just went and they died. But I'll take it. Oh, damn. Team just pushed it all the way to the end. It is my golden hour though. It, it is about time. Get off tower. It's not allowed. Oh, they're all coming forward with the tower. Oh my God. Wipe out, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. No, we almost made it past the checkpoint. Oh my god, by one point too. Oh, they're wiped again. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Sweet. Oh my god, another KO. I'm off of that tower. Oh my god, I'm the only one alive. Okay, I guess we're pushing tower. We got no other choice. We gotta KO them. No, four, three, two, one. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, we got the lead. It is actually the golden hour. Dude, ain't no, ain't no way it's gonna be five in a row. Ain't no way. This is just like kind of grade A bullying the tri-stringer. I don't really appreciate it. Come on, dude. Don't bully the silly bow! Yes, nice lead. Yeah, just keep just keep pushing the Rainmaker. Absolutely. But yeah, channel the 5-0 energy, dude. Activate this. Get him out. I mean, we're just, I guess we're just pushing. We're just going. Oh my god. Ain't no way we actually just did that. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. That's a new best. That is a new best by 20 points. <laughs> we still have time, we're not done. We're not done. Back straight up, bloodshot eyes wide open. My head was back in the game. We just gotta win some more, right? We just gotta win some more. Easy, we only have 27 minutes. I don't know what they're doing. They're just chilling there. Oh, I got two. I got tower, don't worry. You missed it, you missed it. Okay, okay, D directed me twice. We have a decent lead, but it's pretty easy to get there on Mahi Mahi. Oh, no, it's one custom dude you're against the world. No. <laughs> you will not get the lead from us. Let's go. Oh my god. Dude, too close. Too close. Oh, my voice is so shot. Go, 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 go. No! The tragic loss of our life. What a close game it was. They're keeping us back. They're doing a good job. Okay, we're on mid-speed, unfortunately. Because Mahi gives quick games. The mid-speed does the exact opposite and gives very slow, stalemated games. So we gotta push and win immediately. What I've gotta do is I've gotta win. Just like that. And then we push tower. We don't die like that. We don't do that. We don't do that. Yes, fast checkpoint one. That's, that's just hard enough on its own. We will prosper while the enemy perishes. That is how this will end. That is how every story ends. We're going, we're going. We're pushing on mid speed, baby. Okay, I'm dead, I'm dead. The match is lasting a little too long. We have 17 minutes. It's hard to go fast in the right, in the right game. You're not allowed to be on tower. That is our property. Did you not hear? And there we go. That is game one. 15 minutes remain. Mahi Mahi, okay. Quick KO, quick KO is what we're looking for. We're looking for a quick KO first minute. Oh no! They're pushing, they're pushing. This is the opposite of what I wanted. Why are there so many projectiles? Oh my god, our entire team is wiped. It might just be a reverse sweep. 
It's reverse sweep! They're getting the KO in a minute! For 12 minutes. 12 minutes. We, we need to win one more and lose one more. Because we do we do not have time to win five games. We need to break even. So we need to strategically lose on the final match. Come on, game. We can't have long queue times. We cannot have long queue times. That's not what we're here for. Come on, find a game. Find a game. There we go. No, I mean, that's not what we want to see. Mitsubi Metalworks. That takes a long time. Oh, we're going to... Oh, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. We have the lead by five points. This is a little pathetic. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. No, no, I'm throwing. Smash isn't going anywhere. No, come on. We got to reach new heights, baby. We got to reach the skies. We got to reach the blissful six foot, five foot 12. I will hop on tower. It is time. Let's go. Oh, last minute, last minute. But this match is taking way too long, dude. Either they KO or we KO. That, that's what we need. That is game. That is an L. How many points are we losing? There's no way we can beat our highest because we don't have time. And with a current total of 304 points and a personal best of 364, the timer expired. We may have failed our objective to obtain S plus zero in 24 hours with only Tri-Stringer, but the journey was incredible. I started from literally nothing, grinded through four hours of turf war to unlock anarchy and made it all the way to S with an insanely hard weapon to use. In only the span, of a single day. I may not have obtained the status as a tri-stringer god, but can we at least say semi-god, even quarter god? That, that 5-0 at the end there went crazy. But if you want to see what I'll torture myself with next, you might as well subscribe. I mean, you made it this far, no reason not to. And if you want to see these torture sessions live, I stream them right here on this channel. In fact, I could be live right now. I mean, probably not, but you might as well check anyway. But for now, that's about all I got.